Did you know you can shoot 10-bit video on the Sony FS5 internally? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set your Sony FS5 to shoot in 10-bit. Let's get it. So before we get too far, guys, I want to go ahead and throw this out here. The 10-bit video only is in 1080p on the Sony FS5. You're going to get 24p and 60p in 10-bit video on 1080p now when you're shooting 4k on the sony fs5 you are limited to 24p and you're only going to get a bit but i'm going to be showing you guys a little secret at the end of the video to basically get that 10 bit 1080p coming out of the fs5 to look really good when uploading to youtube so we're to the back of our sony fs5 so we're going to go ahead and hit that menu already got it up here on our screen and you want to make sure you go down to the record set now once you get into record set you want to make sure it is in x a v c h d now if you have the raw options you will see those bottom two on there but if you don't have the raw options those will not pop up so you want to go to x a v c h d if you go to x a v QFHD, which is basically quad HD that's going to be your 4k you will get that 4k resolution but you won't get that 10 bit video now you want to go ahead and go into 1080p and if you wanted to do 60 frames you will go to 60p 50 megabits per second and then you want to go down to 24 if you want to do just regular like cinematic motion and movement here on the sony fs5 now once you set those in that order with that file format at X A V C H D and the recording format at 1080p in 24 frames at 50 megabits per second you will be getting 10 bit video out of your Sony FS5 so let's go ahead and jump in the computer and let me show you how you can upscale your 1080p 10 bit FS5 footage and make it look like 4k on YouTube so we are here in our DaVinci Resolve 18 and basically what we're going to be doing is showing you um, the difference between the files here. As you can see, the first one I clicked on here, um, my a7 IV is in the frame, so I'm not shooting this with the a7 IV. This is being shot with the Sony FS5, and this is in that XAVC, like we set in the settings, like I just showed you guys. And this is shooting at 60 frames per second in 1080p and if you go down here you can check and see that the bit depth is a 10 bit bit depth now i'm gonna be showing you guys a different one and it is another mxf file and it's coming from the sony fs5 and as you can see this one is actually shot in 4k in 24 frames per second and it is in xavc and it's basically kind of the same thing it's just QFHD because we do have that 4K over here and as you can see the bit depth is only 8 bit so as you can see when you set the FS5 in 4K you're only getting 8 bit on the highest resolution but if you shoot that 1080p you will be getting 10 bit and that's even if you shoot in at 24 frames per second as well so basically i'm going to be showing you how to basically get this 1080p upscaled so i'm going to make a timeline here on my davinci and go straight to deliver so we're going to deliver this and we're going to give it a name and it's going to be named tester and we're just going to drop it here in my videos and when you get down to resolution you just want to make sure you render this bad baby out in that 34 well 3840 by 2160 which is going to be 4k now yes i know we went in with 1080p 10 bit but we're going to be actually rendering out in 4k and it's actually going to go on youtube and be extremely good quality 4k even coming from this 1080p but that's going to be it guys that's how you do it once you add it in it's going to tell you that you're going from a lower to a higher resolution go ahead and press add and then you can render it out but that's going to be how you set your fs5 into 10-bit video and this is just going to be a little hack on the end to basically get that 1080p to a 4k you know output and it still look really really good and you got 10 bits so you got a little bit more color and a little bit more range that you can do when actually trying to get the look that you're looking for anyways this is me your boy christian hope you guys have been enjoying the videos if you have make sure you hit that like button and i'll see you guys on the next one